Man, I just pulled up on my nigga Flyboy, man. What's happening, baby? Talk to him, Say, man. man. Look, look, look. We got to work. I'm independently from my beat from Bro Bro. Yeah. I want y'all to know, man, don't wait on nobody to take care of your business, man. I came here, man. Look, I brought my club. I, I paid for a song. I went to the club, through money, bought bottles. I was finna go all in with the music game until I seen and recognized everything that's going on, man. I be damned if I sign myself up to get killed and get taught up by the feds, man. So I'm gonna play the background. You know what I mean? I'm gonna play the background, man, because I ain't no damn fool. Man, the rap game is what it is, man. And, and I'm telling y'all, man, like, my advice to y'all like that, man, that's trying to get in the game, remember I said this. The rap game is now a death sentence or a federal offense sentence. They watching and they using other rappers and man, it's a bunch of informants in this rap game, man, believe it or not. Man, uh, when you can use an interview to prosecute somebody, what's the point of doing interviews? Me personally, man, they need to ban doing interviews if you cannot make it strictly about your music. And then I blame the, the, the artists too, man, because a lot of the rappers, man, they like to get on online and, you know, you know, stun about what they done did. Man, I stabbed this dude, I robbed this dude, I seen this mama, and, you know, I shot this dude, and they want to get on the internet and beef. Man, you bringing the feds into your business, man. So, like I say, man, like, uh, I'm going to keep it short, man, because it's different sections I want to talk about, man. And Casanova, man, uh, this dude was just at a party with Jay-Z. He, he was shaking hands with some big major people out there, man, in New York, where he from. And now this man in the feds. And... Guess why he in the feds? Because a female that knew his girl tipped the federal agents off. After they didn't count 16 people, he was the last one because she mentioned his name. Not his man whole career and everything going down the drain. But you got another one from Chicago, G Herbo. He get a charge for credit card fraud, booking trips to Jamaica, buying high dollar puppies. Man, come on, man. These dudes supposed to have money. Why is all this going on, man? It's crazy. Then you got the feds looking at the, the hip hop police. They coming together and they going right after the artists. So when you kill a rapper, Guess what that's going to do? That's going to open up doors to investigate the whole hip-hop industry. And right now, it's going down, bro. And me, I'm not getting in it. I'm going to bag all out the way. That's why I'm selling my food truck that I wrapped up with my pitch on there. That's why, man, I just bagged all the way up, man. They can have it. I know how to use my gift that God blessed me with in other avenues. Some people can't do that. Some people only know one thing. When you bless, you can use your gift and, 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 and put it into other avenues. And um, like I told everybody, this is something I'm just starting. It's, it's new. This YouTube thing is new for me. It's my new baby. I'm going to put some time into it. Bring y'all content. And, and don't take nothing personal that I put out there because I'm learning, man. I'm learning how to edit. This ain't easy. But if you stay down with me through this process, it's going to be all good. But you don't have to uh, come on my timeline just to condemn me on my flaws. Hey, man, positive energy is all I want to represent on my timeline. In my, in my space, that's just how I am. I don't like negative energy, man. The reason why, you know... Uh, I like doing what I'm doing is because I like to reach the people who going through something like me. 
I suffer from anxiety and depression. So my audience that I want to, you know, get familiar with and want them to get familiar with me is the people who suffer from anxiety and depression. And that's the majority of the world, man. We all got somebody we lost. We all got somebody that 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 we love. That 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 you know we all didn't lost jobs. We didn't lost a lot, man. And some people, man, don't even like dealing with the world. Me personally, I'm a loner. I don't like people. Believe it or not, and I say that because people will let you down, and they will build you up. And kick you while you down. They'll come at your gathering just to see what you're doing and get behind your back and talk down. Social media has got to the point where people don't even have face to face conversations no more because they can go do this hill. Whatever happened to, man, let's meet up and talk or call each other. Nobody want to do that no more. This is what everybody want to do. Because you know why? People suffer from anxiety and depression, man. Everybody got their flaw. I'm not perfect. I'm not trying to come out here and claim to be perfect. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I want to touch up on a lot of stuff that everybody can relate to. Just like uh, the fathers out here. You got a lot of bullshit dudes out here, man, that, that don't want to take care of their kids, man, but want to be in a group of niggas and got a kid that stayed two blocks down where he from when he gonna pick him up and spend time with him. All right, man, it's your boy, boy, fly boy, GC. That was some news you can use. This is part two. I'm wrapping it up. Man, tell me how you feel about these dudes out here, man, that hang in groups in the hood, man, be two blocks down and won't go see their kids. Do you think that's right? Do you know somebody like that? So let's wrap it up, man. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed everything I spoke about, how the hip-hop police and the feds has got together, and how dudes doing, you know, dumb shit out here that now woke up, you know, the feds to get in your business. All the silly killing, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm really giving you some free game, man. You know, to all the people who are trying to rap, just know when you get off that stage, it's somebody that wants your spot, you know what I'm saying? And like I say, man, I'm not telling you not to be an artist and stop doing what you do. I'm just letting you know it's a season for everything. Sometimes you got to know how to get out the way. And you can come back in. And that's basically what I'm doing. I'm going to take this.